Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show everybody my route that I've been taking for leveling up thieving. Um, this is actually great for levels 62 to 75, I believe. Um, it's a nice little easy route to take. The one I'm gonna do, you actually need 65 thieving to be able to get into the one section of, uh, Rock Towers. But so we're gonna start here in Lumbridge. Just gonna go north to this first building here. Up the stairs. And we got our first safe to crack. Once you see some blue particles like that, you just click. Every now and then the game will do it for you. So you can technically crack the saves without ever clicking on it again after the first time. However, it'll take a lot longer. And if you're trying to go quickly and actually level, um, you're gonna wanna click every time you see that blue. So then after hitting that first building, we're gonna go down to the shop down here and up the stairs and into our second safe. Alright, now we got the two done here. We're gonna teleport over to Drainer Village. Probably a lot quicker if I didn't use the lodestones. But, to be honest, I'm not in hurry enough to just teleport everywhere pretty close to where you need to be anyway. Only thing that'll make it better is if you teleport directly inside this house. Here you're gonna have two right in the same section. Also when you're doing these safes, every now and then you get these special extra items which gives you either points or uh, you can trade them in for gold as well. As you just saw, I got a double click. Oh, just kind of one of these. Uh, the double click sometimes happens when the blue goes off and you automatically do it and you click it just right. I don't know. It only happens occasionally for me. Oh, got another one. Alright, if you uh, get done with that, you go over to Edgeville. Edgeville is nice and easy as well. You just go right into this building here. You got the ladder. All of these chests are going to be on the second floor, except for the two in the Drainer Manor. And actually, the Varaka is going to be on the third level. And I got another special. Okay, that's nice. Alright, time to go to Varrock. Got some nice music. Alright. I'm just gonna go north up here. Get over to the castle. After I do this route, I'm going to show you the route for those who do not have 65 thieving.
But you only need to do that first route for like three rotations. And then you get your level. Let's keep clicking on this. I do have the medium loot bag, which you get when, um, you get, I think, 500, uh, thieving credits. And you can upgrade your bag at this rewards shop down in the thieving guild. Quick first one. One more. Got another item. It's gonna be a nice uh, loot. I hope I did not accidentally click on now. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna redo this. Lumbridge. My mouse was a little close to Elk Creed. Alright. So this route is very similar to the other one. There's just gonna be a two different locations. As you can see, you get tons of experience. I think it's about 2400 per roughly. Because you get all the fives going up to it. Plus per the first and second clicks are 405 experience each. And then the last click when you get it open. 1600. Alright, so now go back to Drainer. We're gonna go back up to the Drainer Mansion. Big is getting pretty full. Takes a little bit over three uh, trips of these routes. One more click. Alright. Now, instead of going to Edgeville, I go back to Drainer Village. But instead of uh, going up to the mansion, we're going to go down to the bank area.
the, the building directly across the bank is the one we're going to want to go into. It's, I think, the library. Yeah. And then the safe's literally right up the stairs. Now you go down the stairs. It's gonna be the same amount of chests as if you would have went to the Varak Castle. Or palace, or whatever they call it. I think I believe it's a castle. Also, you get both the parcels, with this current event going on, as well as clues from thieving every now and then. So you go up the first floor, go up one more floor, then you got two here. So I normally just go to the one by the bank. It doesn't really matter which one. Well, the bank symbol, I should say. Across the way. Edgeville. I actually just got another one of these items. So currently that is an extra 60 points towards leveling this up to the next uh, loot bag. Keep mess clicking. Alright. to my original setup. I'm gonna do the full uh, bag so you know exactly what to do afterwards. This is the first uh, saves that you can loot or crack with uh, the thieving skills. Because I believe the safes unlock at 62. Drainer. Get over to the Drainer Mansion. Actually, gonna be level 72 after I'm finished doing this one. Gonna be close to doing my next uh, locations. So I do have a ring of wealth on 
just in case I can get some extra clues. When I got my first clue there, it did say your ring shine brightly and got it. So it does work. And you can do this without sound, but there's a couple times here that it's made two sounds, so if you double click, you actually got two numbers. So you could be giving up a double click. And unfortunately, doing this route and skipping those other three, you do end up with um, one more safe you have to crack in order to get your bag full. So pretty much that just means you can go to any Oh, it's because <laughs> I changed the route and therefore the safe hasn't reset yet. So, I am just gonna head on over to the Varag Tower. We'll get this one done first then. By doing the two separate things in the short time there. Messed up the safe timings. That's okay. change up the order. You shouldn't have any trouble with uh, saves being open. There we go. 72. I'm just going to do the ones below. Thank you. 
Okay, just go to Edgeville. Get the last one. to the third of December 3. So first I'm going to turn in this medium loot bag worth of items. That will be to Chief Thief Robin. Just fancy items. 45,550 experience. 89,000 gold. And a lot of this pilfer points. It's different every time. It's not 100% the same. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extra items. So you just hand in. You can pick either coins or pilfer points, which since I'm trying to upgrade my stuff, I'm just gonna go for the pilfer points, which gives me another 80. And I have 600 of those pilfer points. So those points, you then can head on over to the Dodgy Derek, do rewards, and you can get your items. So that medium loot bag cost 500, which about doubled me or so. You can also get uh, different items. So hope this helps you. And that's about it. <laughs>